Hey team, and welcome to Chow Time. I'm Greg. Today, we're gonna cook meatloaf. It's Alton Brown's recipe, and it is super delicious and really easy. That's what's coming up today on Chow Time. Next, assemble the mise en place. I must break you. Preheat the oven. Throw in the croutons and all the dry goods. Ground pepper, ground pepper, man, everything nice and tasty. Some ground pepper, yes sir, yes sir, ground pepper. Ooh, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Ooh, this is gonna be delicious. And a little bit of spice. I'll get on to it. Woo! -hoo! Little cayenne pepper. Delicious. Delicious. One teaspoon chili powder. I do I do suggest that you uh grind your own from freshly dried chili peppers. But uh you know, do your own thing. But if you do grind, they're usually a little bit hotter. They're not uh they're not they're not tame. So be careful with how much cayenne you put in there because uh this will add heat too, and that might be overpowering. So just, you know, watch yourself. In it goes. Same thing with the time. The time! The time! Who's got the time? We have a lot of meat to flavor, so don't be still, don't be shy. Hook. Pulse until mixed. We're looking for panko. You don't want large chunks that's kind of incorporate into the meat. If you have large chunks and you've got these large, large bits in the meat. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. Kind of looks like uh, crushed graham crackers, you know? All right, off to the side, in a big bowl. And throw in the onion. Carrot. In the clue. Think salsa, not puree. Uh, I'll do it. Now we'll combine. I like to add the egg now because uh, you, you don't, you don't want to squeeze the, the meat and it gets hard to incorporate the egg into all the different crevices and that's important for to maintain the structure when it cooks. Next, add, oh, uh -huh. it's ready. It's now preheated, so now you gotta get this in there. Add the beef. Remember kids, the most dangerous knife in the kitchen is the dull one. Just make sure yours is nice and hummed. Mm, delicious tube of meat, a meat tube. Now add the chuck. And then incorporate. Don't squeeze, sort of massage it in. If you don't want to squeeze and you'll get all the juices out. What I like to do is just sort of pull it apart into small little crumbles. Before I get too much farther, I need to season this. Kosher salt, if you please. A nice fat pinch. Ooh, maybe a little more. This is a lot of beef, guys. You can feel it, the, the, the loaf really wants to stay together. I mean, it looks, and look at that. That means I've incorporated the proteins from the eggs in it properly. That's gonna stick. That's what you're looking for, baby! Get your meat, and put it in there. Go ahead and jam your meat in there. Yep, jam it in. Real gentle like, like a gentleman. Okay, make sure it's in all the corners. Now. 
grab this here tiki sheet with the parchment on top and bite! Ta-da! We have a meat roaf. Delicious, delicious, delicious meat roaf. Okay, in the oven it goes. Assemble the mise en place. Ketchup, Worcestershire, honey, Tabasco. Let's get it. Now a little secret. Cumin. Yes. Thinking. Gonna make an amazing crust. It's a meatloaf. Now we gotta let it rest. Now that it's cooked and rested, let's go ahead and cut into it. I suggest using an electric knife because, uh, well, it may still crumble. If you want the nice sized loaves and the, and the control of how thick they are, use an electric knife. Take a look. Okay, let's cut it. Okay. Let's dig in. Thanks for watching.